There are a lot of different editing softwares out there. And as someone who edits hundreds of videos every single month, I do have a favorite. So let's talk about what editing software YouTubers use to edit videos. I have been editing since I was about 14 years old. I've used a lot of different types of editing software. And about seven years ago, the job that I was at, they forced me to learn Premiere Pro because that's what they had on all of their computers. That's what all of their editors used. And so ever since I learned Premiere Pro, I haven't looked back. Uh, there's a lot of reasons that I really like this suite that I would like to go over. As well as at the end, I wanna show you a couple little editing tricks that you can use just so you can get started. First, I wanna start off by saying this is not any sort of endorsement of Adobe Premiere. I'm not getting paid for talking about this. Um, I just wanna give you an idea of where you can kind of get started in editing and some of the reasons I really like using Premiere. It's not the only software out there that does have a lot of really great features. This is just the one I specifically really enjoy using. One of the main reasons is because you don't just get Adobe Premiere Pro. You can, you can just buy the one product, but you can also get the suite. It comes with things like Photoshop, Media Encoder, After Effects, those are all other things that we use within our business to create YouTube videos. So it's not just getting one program and just learning editing, it's about being able to get a whole suite. It comes with a ton of other apps as well that you can use that can help enhance your edit and make it super professional. I only spend $32 a month on the entire Adobe suite, which I think is a really good deal. I think that you can get just one of the apps for like $9.99 a month. So to have the entire thing is pretty incredible for $32 a month. Um, they do kind of do all these promotion things all the time where they're like, okay, it's gonna be $32 a month for a year and then it's gonna go up, but you can always get them to bring your price back down to $32 a month. So, you know, don't worry about that. I find Adobe Premiere to be super user friendly. Um, it's hard to say though, right? Because I, like I said, I've been editing since I was 14 years old. So for me, looking at it, I open it up and I'm like, oh, this is like super simple. Now, on the other hand, I don't really find Photoshop or After Effects to be the most user-friendly apps in the entire world. That's something I struggle with. So I'm trying to make sure that I keep in mind that I might find it to be super user-friendly because it's something I use every day and I'm very, very comfortable with. However, I would say I used to use Final Cut Pro. I had Final Cut Pro 7, that's what I learned on. And then they switched it to Final Cut 10, which kind of reverted it to more of like an iMovie type of thing. And I found that to be super non-user friendly, right? Like iMovie is kind of one of those things where it's supposed to be for the beginner and you can do a lot of beginning editing on it. But because you're so limited to what you can actually do, I find it to be less user friendly than something where maybe it's a little more complicated to learn all the nuances of it, but you have a lot more control over the edit. I know that was kind of a lot, so just kind of backing up a little, with Adobe Premiere, what I really love about it is you have a ton of control over what you're doing. You can really, the, the possibilities are endless. There's a million different ways to do each and everything that you can do in Premiere. So it's something where I think if you were just learning and you had to do kind of a simple edit, a simple edit for YouTube, you could totally do that. But if you wanted to gain skills and get better and better, it's a great place to do that as well because you have that allowance to be able to go up to like super professional, you know, Hollywood film style editing as well. Where something like iMovie is great if you wanna just do something super simple, but because it restricts you so much, I find that to be a lot more difficult to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. Now that's not to say that iMovie isn't great. When I very first started editing, when I wasn't doing it as a profession, when I was just doing it as like for fun, when I was, you know, in junior high and high school, I did use iMovie and I was able to create a lot of fun things on there. So programs like iMovie that, you know, maybe you're not looking to become a professional editor, maybe you're not looking to really do fancy edits, you're just like, I just wanna be able to like put together this little family vacation video, then go for it, you know, don't worry about paying for something monthly. If you're wanting to do a YouTube channel or video marketing for your business or video marketing for yourself, you know, you wanna become a TikToker or Instagrammer or something like that, then I definitely suggest that you start with something like Adobe Premiere Pro 
because that's where you're going to be able to have the most growth in your edit. I love talking about starting ugly and I think this is a really great place to bring that in that when you get started in editing, it's probably not gonna be very good. It's probably gonna take you a long time. I was in a conversation with a woman the other day and she was trying to figure out how she could offload some hours out of her business because she's like, I'm spending way too much time every single week trying to grow my business and maybe putting my hours into the wrong place. And she had mentioned, you know, it takes me about eight hours to edit my podcast every single week. Uh, so I could hire somebody and pay them, you know, 25, 35, 45, whatever she decides bucks an hour to edit for her. And that would get her eight hours a week back. And the one thing that she wasn't taking into consideration was it was taking her eight hours to edit her podcast. But for somebody like me who edits hundreds of videos a month, it'd probably take me like an hour to edit her podcast. So it's not just that, you know, she would have to just hour per hour. Like it takes me eight hours. So I'd have to hire somebody for eight hours. It's like, it takes me eight hours. I could probably hire somebody for one hour to do the exact same thing. So keep that in mind as you're getting started. It's probably something that is going to take you a long time. You're gonna be very, very slow. It might be a little frustrating at first because you're like, I know what I want it to look like, but I don't know how to actually take the steps I need to do to create that. At this point, you have two options. You can either just practice, practice, practice. You will get better. Like I said, start ugly, start slow. And the more videos you make, the faster that you'll get at it, the more creative you'll be able to do your edits. And your second option is that you can just hire somebody to do your edits for you. You know, something that takes you eight hours might take them one or two hours. Uh, so they'll be able to create a lot more content for you. We do have an editing service within our company. So if that's something that you're interested in finding out how much that would cost and what that would look like, we do have a link in the description box below where you can talk to a producer. We can have a conversation to figure out if we can fit the needs of what you need for editing. If you decide that you do want to do your own editing, let me just show you a couple of quick tips real fast, just so you can kind of see what Premiere Pro looks like and figure out, you know, how to get started with your project. All right. So first thing you're going to do is open up Premiere. We're going to go over here on the left side and click new project. Over here, we can choose the project name. And then this is the project location. This folder right here is where we have all of our YouTube video projects. So you can see here, we're going to choose and then we're going to hit create. Okay. So this is what premiere will look like for you. You've kind of got your four different boxes here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import some media. So here was our filming from last time. I'm going to click on the folders that I want and I'm just going to drag them in. Now, one thing I like to do to keep everything organized is create a bin. So I'm going to right click and do new bin and I'm going to name it footage. And then I'm going to add the footage into that folder. Now I could have created the bin first and then dragged the footage directly into that would have cut back a step, but it doesn't really matter for this purpose. I just kind of want to show you. So now we have our footage bin. I might create like an assets bin, maybe a music bin. Anyway, this is where you organize all of your footage. This is also where you're going to find your project. So let's say that you have multiple projects open. You're going to be able to click on this little arrow right here and they'll all show up here. Or if you want to go to your effects, you'll use this tab quite a bit. This is where you can get your audio and video effects along with transitions. So you'll want to play with these. This big box right here is your timeline. So we're going to go back to our project. Now let's say I'm going to pull this footage onto the timeline. Now what it's done is it's created a new sequence. You can see that sequence over here and I could rename that, right? I could say this is video 101. Maybe I'll have a sequence bin that I like to put all my sequences in. However you want to organize it that makes sense for you. 
You kind of want to get a system, do it the same way every single time. It'll make it a lot easier for when you have to go back and maybe change something on a project. Maybe you're sending the project to somebody else to help do the edit. You know, having a nice solid system will be really helpful. You can drag different pieces of footage onto the timeline. So maybe we want to put it next to it. I know that these were both shot at the same time. So they actually go together and our audio. So all of these lines up here are different video, right? So we've got this shot or I can hide that shot and you can see the other one. This is the other angle. So whichever one's on top is the one that you're going to see. Audio, all three of these would be playing at the same time. I'm going to be using the green track because that's my best audio that I recorded so I can mute these other ones or I could solo this one. Here's where you're going to be able to play back your video as you're doing the edit. And then this box over here is let's say you want to just preview a piece of footage. You can double click on it and it will come up here. This is your source footage up here. And then you can go through and maybe you don't want to pull the whole thing down onto the timeline. You just want to find a specific part and you're like, that's the part I want. You can put an in point in and then you go to where you want it to end. You can do an out point and then you could actually drag the footage from here and lay it on top. You could also just grab the audio by clicking over. Now you can see that it's just an audio track and do the same thing. To do a basic cut, you're going to grab your razor tool over here. You can move your cursor to where you want it and then you can just click and it will make a cut. And then let's say you didn't want this first part, click on it, delete. Now it would show this angle and then it would cut to this angle here. This is just the most basic things that you need to know just to get started in Premiere. We have an entire video that goes over how you can edit a YouTube video, so make sure to check that out here. The biggest thing I would suggest is that you just start grabbing some footage, put it in Premiere, play around, try all of the different effects, try all of the different tools that you have. This is your tools panel right here. It's got a lot of different things you can do. We also have a basic editing playlist that you can check out. Make sure that you like and subscribe. We are your video allies. You've got this. We've got your back and we cannot wait to see what kind of content you create.